Well, if you can believe it or not, it's been a little over a year since we debuted this brand new set. Still amazed by this set every single day. Hands down, one of the best in the country for sure. Now, if you're wondering what happened to the old set, well, Sean Stryker explains it is now helping the future of this business. We love our new set here at WJZ, but the old one that it replaced still had a lot of life left in it. So we packed it up and shipped it off to Harford Community College. It graced the airwaves in Baltimore for almost 20 years. Good morning, how are you? And now the longtime WJZ morning set sits at its new home in Harford Community College. There we go, that looks good. Used by the college's mass communication department to give students a taste of what it's like to work in a real news Hello. studio. Hey, Hannah. This is going to be your close-up cam, okay? In the end, you're trying to get as close to reality as you possibly can. And to have this here and know this was used by the people doing the real thing breathes that into a classroom, makes it more engaging, more fun. It shows students like Krika Smith who dreams of one day becoming a reporter. They're on the right path. And then when I see the camera and the lights, that just put even more excitement on my face. Like, my dream is like just so close. The donation of the set was facilitated in part by WJZ traffic anchor and Harford alum Christy Breslin. We were in the process of getting a new set. I went to our general manager Audra Swain and I asked her if it would be possible to donate the set to my alma mater Harford community and she said absolutely. She thought it was a great idea and that's when we got the ball rolling. To complete the studio the school purchased new cameras which will help students put together demo tapes. Sean Stryker for WJZ.